Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're at Pit Meadows and Pit Lake. So it should be fun. The weather's not looking too wonderful, but at least it's not raining yet. So we got our kayaks all loaded. Let's hit the water. So today's weather forecast is not great and tonight's weather forecast is like less desirable but we're hoping that it doesn't rain but we're prepared if it does. We have three pit stops for today, one campsite, one recreation site and then the last campsite which is one that we're planning on staying at. It should be about a 18 kilometer paddle today, maybe a little less if we take a few shortcuts but uh, at least it's not too hot. Unlike the other times we went kayaking, uh, at least the wind's not against us for right now, so. It gets super shallow here. You could see the ground. How's the paddle so far? It's tiring. <laughs> That's being honest. <laughs> yeah, I just want to teleport to our location. What's wrong? It's cramping. Cramping? <laughs> oh. That's fun. Oh, yeah, what the heck? We made it to our first site which is called Raven Creek Marine Park and it's a kind of like a campsite area and it's really like only accessible by boat. You can tell where people have camped previously with the fire pits and stuff and little benches that they created. Um, we're going to enjoy a little bit of a snack now. The food for this trip is going to be a little bit sad. We weren't feeling that hungry when we left the house so we just decided not to bring lunch and get snacks instead but mistake is that now we're hungry <laughs> and also for dinner tonight we uh, forgot some ingredients at home so it will be a little bit of a sad dinner as well foraging for food I yeah. guess yeah <laughs> the wilderness experience superstore lemon squares we got four so we got two each and probably like 6,000 calories a pop <laughs> um, we'll balance it out with this healthy um, vegetable vegetables. straws that are covered in um, MSG and barbecue flavorings. Yum, yum, yum. Naturally flavored barbecue. Yeah. I have a salmon berry. Wow. Perfectly ripe. Yeah, so if we collect enough of this, this will make up for all the food that we forgot. And it's <laughs> probably healthier than anything we would have planned. In other news, we found, uh, I think, where the campsite is. Let me walk you around. So this is enough for maybe an eight-person tent. You got a lot of seating over here. <laughs> and maybe a second site for like a two to four-person tent. You have your dining table over here. Communal fire pit. We have a clothesline. And uh, just toilet over there, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe another site over here, you probably pitch more tents. making a low ropes course. <laughs> what the heck you're going back? <laughs> the, when the rope when the rope is too long. I don't know man. <laughs> I didn't ever take boy scouts I'm not tied good enough. <laughs> Whoa. Tarp time. Tarp time. This is really ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <Here's a> rock. <laughs> We're really roughing it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh. oh no. 
I got something flew into me and then I got bit. Oh. Uh, oh. It doesn't like our tent. Oh. Uh, the wild is terrible. We just finished our nap and we set up the tarp over there, left some things. We decided we're not going to go to the second campsite, but uh, rather we're going to just kind of paddle upstream here and uh, see what's at the north side of the lake. We'll come back and grab everything and we'll set up camp here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the water chilled out a bit. Get out of here. Save yourself. Oh, shallow. Oh, that doesn't sound good. There's the shallow part here to get around it. Well, we've come to, I mean, not the end, but the, the conditions are getting a little strange. So <laughs> we're kind of a little hungry as well. We're probably just gonna turn back, but here's some scenery. Yeah, it's very wavy right now. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh. We came back from our paddle and our tarp got blown. All Absolutely everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we suck at this. It was so windy though. But we had all these rocks on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, How that should have done it. All right, back to the drawing board. <laughs> The issue is that we just bought this tarp today in the anticipation that it'll rain. Typically we have our gazebo and it's like self-standing. Can't Maybe bring that in our kayak. Unfortunately not. When we go home, we'll have to do some more research as to how to tie some good knots and how Build to properly make one. <laughs> but anyways, don't mind the wrinkliness. The best case scenario is that it doesn't rain and we just waste all this time doing this. That would be the best <laughs> option. But uh, if it rains, then well, an extra layer of protection. Yeah. Well, let's set the rest of the tent up and then uh, so we can get start on food. This impromptu camping thing, we were looking at the weather and we're like, ah, uh, even up to this morning, we're deciding whether or not we should go. And uh, in all of the rush and madness of trying to get ready as quickly as possible, we forgot a number of things in which a pan was one of them. So you kind of need a pan to cook, but luckily we brought a pot. Uh, so we have a cooking vessel. On today's dinner, we have taco bowls. So since we forgot the meat, I guess we don't really need the pan necessarily, but we have the rice that we need to heat up and I guess that's really about it. So. Let's get cooking. Oh! <laughs> Broke the tab. Yikes. Well, at least it was meant to peel, so. There's that. <laughs> Sorry, got avocado on ya. Let me wipe you off there, bud. <laughs> so it turns out we won't go hungry tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's probably like me myself i got like three pounds of food here with what we got we're not going hungry and uh it looks okay it looks really good actually it's like a chipotle rice bowl yeah we'll see how it goes i've never made this before i just was inspired by one of our friends who made it for us one time and i was like huh seems easy enough but it's only easy when you don't forget all the ingredients and equipment at home <laughs> let's dig in Yay! In a few weeks, we'll be back here doing another paddle. Something that we didn't know about Pit Lake is that one, it seems like most of it is very shallow. We bottomed out a few times, like uh, close to the shore, but like not really, which is surprising. And also the most important fact is that we realized that Pit Lake is a tidal lake. 
meaning that like the water levels change um, quite drastically. I think looking at the, the wave charts, it can vary by like nothing to like four meters, which is pretty insane. So we're, after dinner, we're gonna go for a walk around the uh, island just to check it out. And we made it all of like 20 meters before all the water started coming in. So we're not going anywhere. <laughs> The sunset was really pretty and uh, yeah, we're kind of slowing down and about to head off to bed because we're expecting some rain tomorrow morning and we have an early trip back. We'll catch you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Morning everyone. That was a um, better than expected night. We didn't get so much rain and we didn't get mauled by a bear. And I wasn't cold. <laughs> and she wasn't cold, which is all very surprising things. But uh, we didn't set alarm this morning. We were supposed to head out like an hour ago. We uh, accidentally slept in, so our paddle back is going to be absolutely hectic. <laughs> we're going to have to paddle like our life depends on it. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, so beautiful this morning. Uh, water super calm. Very fav favorable water conditions. No wind. So we should be able to get back in like a little over an hour, I hope. <laughs> Eight kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So the tide came up really high last night. It was all the way out here and we had our kayaks parked over here. But good thing before we went to bed we moved our kayaks way up here where those two marks are. It's crazy even looking on the east side of this little island that we stayed on it's all underwater like yesterday all the uh, rocks and sand the shoreline that was there it was so much lower yeah it's important to do your research when it comes to tidal lakes oh man could have been in a very sticky situation if we didn't pull our kayaks up so we realized that we didn't film an ending to this video because we were rushing so hard to get home, but we hope you enjoyed watching this kayak camping adventure. We will be back to Pit Lake soon because there's so much to explore, but until next time, peace! <laughs>